we also read about the, the female chimp that was used for breeding to breed new astronaut chimps. Um, you know, I could see why primates in an alternate universe would definitely you know, fight against the humans and go planet of the apes on their ass. <laughs> Perched above the town of Alamogordo, New Mexico, is the Museum of Space History. Amongst the rocket displays is the grave of a space chimp named Ham. Ham, the space chimp, was born in French Cameroon. Ham was selected over 14 other chimps to be the first primate in space. And on January 31st, 1961, he became the first primate in space. Ham paved the way for the United States astronaut Alan Shepard's suborbital flight in May 1961 and all the United States manned flights that were to follow. Excited to come see Ham, the first space chimp to go up in a space rocket. So I'm in Alamogordo and if, when you're looking for him, he's just below the building in the space park. He has this beautiful view of White Sands. You can see White Sands National Monument off in the distance. He has a beautiful view. Ham, the man. Ham, you are the man. So, this is the International Space Hall of Fame. Hey, Ham. Thank you for your service, Ham. I wish I had a banana, I'd put it on your grave. The three-year-old chimpanzee first went through training at Cape Canaveral. They trained him to push and pull buttons and levers on a console. Acts he would perform during flight so they would know he was conscious and alive. They were not sure if Ham would survive the flight. After the devastating launch of Mercury 1, Ham went up on Mercury 2, and they weren't even sure if he was going to survive re-entry. On January 31, 1961, Ham was suited up and placed in the BioPack couch for the MR2 suborbital test flight. The Mercury Redstone launched from Cape Canaveral, carrying Ham over 400 miles downrange in an arching path that reached a peak of 158 miles above the Earth. Ham performed his lever-pulling tasks in response to flashing lights and he performed them well. So Ham landed in the Atlantic Ocean and when they retrieved his capsule, they weren't sure if they were gonna find him alive or not. But when they opened up his container, they found him alive, 
dehydrated and his nose was bruised. But Ham did a lot for us and he should be commended. If it wasn't for him, NASA might have not gotten forward with the Apollo missions. Okay, they basically tortured these chimps when they put them in space. It's actually quite horrifying when you find out what they really did. They put these things on their feet that shock them if their attention span strayed from the console. Um, they pretty much put them in a suitcase-sized container with a window and put them in and then shot them into space. Ham died at the North Carolina Zoo on January 17, 1983, at the age of just 26, which is equivalent to 50 to 60 in human years. Upon his death, he was taken to the Air Force Institute of Pathology, which is located within the campus of the Walter Reed Army Medical Center. During the post-mortem examination, they took care to keep his skin in good condition so he could be stuffed and put on display in the National Air and Space Museum. News of these plans reached the public. The headlines read, Pioneer Space Chip to be Stuffed. This caused something of a stir. The public was outraged, and a young sophomore high school student in New York started a campaign of letters to stop the shocking and horrifying plans for Ham. Due to her pleas, it was decided not to stuff and display Ham as originally planned, that his skeleton was of scientific value and that his skeleton would remain at the Institute with the skeleton of Abel, a famous space monkey. So Ham, minus his skeleton, were cremated and sent to be buried in the International Space Hall of Fame at the Museum of Space History in Alamogordo, New Mexico. Make sure to check out all our videos on traveling in New Mexico. It is truly an enchanted place. Make sure to check out the links in the description. They help support this channel. And thank you so much for coming by. You have no idea how much we appreciate it.